I figured I'd give you guys a different scenery here. Happy late uh, Sunday evening. I have a catch of the day. And I wanted to, wait, let me push this back some guys so that you guys can um, see exactly what I'm doing and give you guys some serenity, seeing that today is Sunday. Okay, let's see if you can see this. Nope. Give me one moment, though. And the only reason why I'm doing this, guys, it wasn't my intention just to get back into the kitchen, but I'm going to marinate this. And this is what I'm going to cook for manana tomorrow, okay? Now, can you see the fish to catch of the day? Because I still want you guys to get serenity. So I'll stand to the side. But anyway, this is the catch of the day here. So I have my gloves and everything on. I have everything already prepped to go, guys. So this will be a short live. I know the games are still on. I think the Giants and, um, I mean, Dallas Cowboys. No offense to my cousin, Hershey Walker. Yes, blood cousin. But, um, go Green Bay. Green Bay is my team, guys. Sorry. One of them. I have like five. I choose my teams by the colors. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I have my jacket on. I'm cold, guys. Uh, even though the heat is on, it's like really nice and warm. I was lying down, but it's like when I get up, I, uh, I kind of get cold natured. So I have my jacket on. That was a gift to me from my AT Haitian friend. Okay, but anyway, so we're going to get started. What I did was I cleaned it already, guys, three times with baking soda and lemon, okay? And here's the lemon right here. So I have a little bit more left. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and squeeze it here. See the juices? Okay. So we have our little trash baggie right here. Okay. So now what we're going to do, guys, is... um. We're going to add one habanero pepper. I paid for it on the pizza, guys. This thing is extremely, extremely hot, okay? So you want to be careful with this. So what I'm going to do is tuck, tuck this on the inside, mouth, okay? So when it cooks, it'll just spread through like that, okay? And now we're going to add our dry objects before we add our, our liquid, which is um my homemade garlic butter and margarine and coconut oil so I'm gonna use mushroom guys because I'm gonna make quinoa with it and plantains so this is gonna be a brain food full of nutrients and vitamins and health beneficial health benefits meal on tomorrow I, I thought about making some ribs but I'm like nah you know I just rather have something light and uh just very healthy and uh the beet juice guys as you can see it's working <laughs> i was i was lying down but see i'm back up again so that's what happens when you put things into your body and it gives you great energy and better health not to say you're gonna feel like this all the time but take advantage of it when you do feel this way okay okay and i've already rinsed off the mushrooms and this is the bella mushrooms okay so we got that out of the way. Now the next thing we're gonna add, guys, one momento. We have our um, green peppers. I cut them this way for a reason. I don't want them small, so the the taste and the fragrance can get all into it. Okay. So put this right here. Yeah. Garfield was out there somewhere, guys. I don't know where he's at now, but uh, he's probably uh, sleeping in his little house that we bought him. Okay, so we're just like placing the um the green peppers, and now we're using the onion, the red onion. Of course, you always want to add your red onion. This is how I hope you guys are getting the the, the drift of how I'm cooking. Always cook with a food that's going to be beneficial to your health. That's just the best way I can put it. So now what we're going to do, guys, I have lemons, right, that I cut, like, in half. I'm going to stick, stick them around the mouth of the fish. Can you see this? I'll show you when I'm done. Stick them around the mouth of it. Because what happens is the flavor seeps inside. Inside it goes throughout. 
Okay, and I, and I will be cooking this in my conventional oven. So I'm excited about that. Just getting the gist of um making a whole lot of dishes. Oh, guys, and another thing, um, I, I work ahead of schedule. <laughs> um, but I'll just give you a brief. I'm pretty much, I'm not, I don't have any secrets, but I already have things planned out as to what I'm going to do, but I just don't, I don't have to always share it because anything can come up and I can't get to it. So, but what I'm going to make uh, next week are stuffed peppers, uh, all different colors, red, yellow, orange, and green. And I'm also going to make salmon. That is my fave. I made it a lot before I got on YouTube. This is a uh, time. No, that's cilantro, sorry. This is cilantro right here, and this is the thyme. Thyme is like shredded little pieces, so learn to know your herbs, okay? So we're just gonna put this all over like such. And I'll just dump like this, okay? So we have down two. Now, I'm gonna have the, I'm gonna add pimentos, okay? I'm gonna use my hand because I have the gloves on, okay? Sterilization. I'm just gonna sprinkle just around the fish, just to give it, uh, you know, a better taste, or much more tasteful dish. Just a little bit. You don't have to add a lot, okay? A lot of people don't like this. I also included, guys, in my um mixture here, my onion onion powder, my homemade onion dry powder. Yeah, and it doesn't take but a little bit, guys. Trust me, it's very, very strong. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to get the basil olive oil, which is here, right? I'm going to shake because the basil always falls to the bottom, guys. Anything that you use that's liquid, make sure you shake it first if you don't know that already so that the ingredients could um, all come together. So, and this is going to be marinated overnight again, guys. I'm not going to cook this until manana. Along with again quinoa and um plantains. So what I'm about to do, guys, this is gonna be my base. I'm just gonna spread it over and it's gonna marinate. So that's all. That's all I'm doing. This is gonna marinate. You wanna add to the veggies too, guys. It's gonna marinate overnight, and I will be covering it. I'll cover it as soon as I show you guys. So we have everything. So, see guys, whenever you get a uh, catch of the day, a fresh catch of the day, whether you buy it at the market the same day that it comes in, because that's the only thing that makes it fresh. It's not that you buy it out of the market and they've had it there for three days. Not to take away from seafood markets, because I love their conch. conch. Okay, I'm from Miami. Conch fritters. So, it's okay. And the yellowtail. But anyway, so this is how you marinate right here, guys. I don't want to tilt it too much, but I hope you can see it. This is the Bon Appetit, guys, for tomorrow, manana. Again, quinoa along with um, plantains. Okay? So, we're just going to wrap it, and then I'm going to call it a day, guys. I'm going to go watch a great movie. I'm going to clean up my little, not mess, because I don't make a mess as I go. But I hope you guys are enjoying your day in that um. You know, you've been at peace, and I hope that you will stay at peace, and don't let anyone take it away from you. So, we're just going to wrap this, guys. The tail is kind of hanging out, so I'm not going to bend it too much, just as long as it's covered, because it's marinating. Okay, guys. Well, that's the end of this Catch of the Day story. And uh, I actually, you guys have a great night. And I will enjoy the rest of my night. And uh, until, from my kitchen to yours, all in that line lifestyle.